outsiders. Hey, didn't they say in school not to use that word? Oh, oops. Hello. Hello there. Is this new looking building your school? That's right. The village chief built it. For the future of the village. A school. It's a bit plain compared to the rest of the town, don't you think? Are you kidding? We didn't have anything like this in my village. We always did want one, though. I'm Slenge, the chief of this village. What brings you two all the way out to our tiny corner of the continent? Oh, well, we're looking for. We're here for work, researching what people eat out on the frontier, stuff like that. Your efforts are very much appreciated. Thankfully, our village has been spared the ravages of famine. In fact, it's even more bountiful than in years past. And we have the chief to thank for it. If there's anything we can help you with, don't hesitate to ask. <laughs> you say that like you own the place. Seems like a nice village. Sort of reminds me of Alicia. Saray. I know, I know. We'll split up and try and find some clues about the Pope. Looks like there's something nearby. What's wrong, Edna? Nothing. Just thinking about how Mebo insulted me earlier. Oh, I see. Anyway, it looks like there's some kind of ruin in the back of the village. And it's a pretty darn old one to boot. How old do you think? It's probably from before the Dark Period. It might be even older than I am. You don't mean from the Temperance of Avarost. If that's true, then this is an incredible find. Wait. Hey, uh, Edna? How old are... What? <sighs> Never mind. Gadadin sure seems like a happy village. Indeed, everyone here is so positive and active. They're all like family here. But I still can't feel the blessing of the Seraphim. True. The Guardian Seraph is missing. It seems that this place used to be rather barren. But it looks like the current chief was able to overcome these issues. I can tell the people here respect him a whole lot. I imagine they do. This would normally be such a desolate environment. Yeah, not just anyone could pull that one off. Rose? Is something the matter? Sorry, I was just thinking out loud. I'll tell you more once I've had time to investigate. What's wrong? You look troubled. It's strange. This village seems rather prosperous. And that's a problem? The issue is why. Their source of income. Right. The land in this area is infertile and hardly fit for farming or hunting. It's far from any major thoroughfare and they have no local products to export. Isn't that weird? You'd think a place like this would be the first to fall victim to famine. There must be some explanation for all this.
Dezel, have you found any clues about the Pope yet? No. Well, if you do come across anything, let me know. One thing bothers me. The Chief. There was something out of place in his personal effects. His glasses! Lenses are a precious rarity. They're usually only available to those of nobility or holy orders. And Slenge only showed up here recently. There's dots there if you want to connect them. You mean to say the Chief is... I'm just saying the possibility is there. Don't quote me on it. I'll look further into it. Thank you. Don't. Huh? All I'm saying is there's no need to thank me. All right. There's a ruin! Wait! You think they came here to apprehend the chief? They better not. Without our chief, Gadadin is doomed. There's no cause for worry yet. As long as they stay out of the Pure Land, we'll be all right. Malevolence! Let's go. There was malevolence coming from the Chief. Why? I bet we'll find the answer inside that ruin. Yeah. That's... A destroyed entrance, huh? Well, that looks hopeless. Oh, does it now? Edna, you could use your powers! Give it a try. I certainly might. If you were to ask like so. Lady Edna, please do something about these rocks. This is no time to be joking around. Miklio can't take Lady Edna anywhere, can he? Oh, for... are you still hung up on that? Come on, spit it out. Lady Edna, I beg you to move these rocks which I, the pitiful Mebo, cannot. Hey, that's longer. Well, I charge interest. Edna, I think that's enough teasing for now. We need you to do something about these rocks, Edna. Please help us. I didn't mean you. Maybe not. But I'm as guilty as anyone here of taking you and your powers for granted. Even though I've seen malevolence born from that very mentality. Gratitude is vital in all actions. Whether you're worshipping the Seraphim, or simply journeying with friends. Seriously, it's fine. I'll give you my ability. The giant strength. FYI, Saray doesn't get jokes. Nice. I'll try breaking down these rocks that the meek and pitiful Mebo couldn't. Not you too. He really doesn't get jokes. What mighty power! Oh. What is this place? Some sort of warehouse? You got that right. For the stuff that's quickly becoming all the rage amongst the nobility these days. Elixir? It's fake. Uh, but my body feels oddly warm. That's because it's packed with energy drink garbage. Did I mention this stuff is highly addictive? Make one sale and we'll race back for more. Pretty devious. So, is this stuff being sold officially under the authority of the Church? The certificate carries the authentic stamp of the Church of Rollins, but it looks like the sales profits are all going to this village. So that's what you meant about tracking the flow of money. If there's someone in Gadadin who can create an official certificate... It has to be the missing Pope! 
That explains the village's mystery funds. And the malevolence from the Chief. So they're either conspirators or... Or the Chief is the Pope. You! What are you doing in here?! That has to be... Could it really, it really be? The Chief? Dezel sure is good at everything. That's because he can read the word. <gasps> it's not the Chief? So you are here to capture the Chief. I knew it! I'll die before I allow that. Enough! What is the meaning of this? Are you... Pope Macedra? I see you've done your homework. What would drive you to do such a thing? I would ask the same. I never desired the title of Pope. So then, why must I continue to perform its functions? I originally joined the Holy Order in order to give a small blessing, a glimmer of hope, to my family and those around me. But that is all. But there are so many who cherish you. Sergei and the rest of the knights, and... I know that! That's why I worked so hard. I did all I could. I toiled for years and years with no self-regard for the sake of everyone. And then... I took a look around me, and there was no trace of my family left behind. They had scorned me as a man with no regard for his household. What was it all for? What fruits had I to show for my endless labors? Were you involved with the war against Highland? I abandoned everything. The war, my country, even my people. At that point I was beyond all caring. I fled into the forest to meet my death. But these folks rescued me. The good and gentle people of Gododin ask nothing of me. Content merely to treat me as if I were one of their own family. And so naturally he wanted to give something back to the village. Even if it meant dealing fake elixir. I care for neither the Empire nor the Church. Call me a coward if you like, but now I live for the sake of... My family. The villagers. Your family? Hmm. <laughs> I can sympathize with him for sure, but nevertheless, we need to bring him back. We can't get the spiritual powers without deciphering the inscription. And the Cardinal is too much to handle for the Knights alone. But, on the other hand, without the protection and leadership of the Chief, what will become of Gadadin? The same could be said for Pendrago. You see the problem? It was him running away that caused this mess. Why should he get a free pass? There's got to be a way around this. Maybe he could crack the code for us and head right back here? But you know what the knights in the church are like right now. You think they just let him walk away? <sighs> Chief! Are Chief! you okay? There's no cause for alarm. My need here is finished. Everyone, please calm yourselves. Worry not, we are safe. The man standing before you is the real Shepherd. Shepherd, there's something I dearly hope you will understand. The villagers bear none of the blame here. This was all my doing. I just wanted to know the truth. That's all. So I'm leaving, as of now. Is that okay? I'm not sure. 
But what I do know is that you seem to trust this fellow. And that's enough for me. Rose. Some things in the world come down to more than just black and white. I am sure Sergei and the Knights will understand as well. But the real issue is, how are we going to get through the Cardinal's domain? Yeah, that. I wonder if we can crack it. The inscription's code? What, ourselves? It's not that crazy, is it? It's a man-made puzzle, after all. Might even be fun. That may be, but we better at least ask this guy for a hint or two. Shepard, if you don't mind, please follow me. So Ray, look around you. What is this? <gasps> the shepherd is granted four powers. Earth, water, fire, and wind. They are the blade that shall cleave the Lord of Calamity. Scattered across this land are the Shrines of Trials. They too are of earth, water, fire, and wind. Tests they are of power and spirit. The power is brought forth in the spirit, and the spirit captures the power. With balance may malevolence be purified. With imbalance does the body smolder and burn. Test thyself, Shepherd, and brandish thy might. Rise to the challenge, and stake thy will on the outcome. The sacred inscription! He had it memorized? Not bad. Even if it's still gibberish. What he means is... We can obtain four different powers in four different places, and for each one you have to pass a trial, I think. What he said. Got it. So we just have to find those places. Yeah, or don't tell me this is one of them. Indeed it is, Shepard. This is Igrain, the Shrine of the Trial of Fire. May we enter? Funny time to start asking permission, I guess. The Shrine of the Trial is rife with danger. I cannot guarantee your survival. Will you still go? Of course, hidden powers in a secret shrine? I'm there. Then go forth, young shepherd, and face your trial. This place exists for you. Giant strength, huh? I hate to admit it, but Earth Seraphim sure are powerful. Ugh. Edna? Ouch! After using giant strength, my body gets all kinds of sore. Can you just try not to touch me? Oh, s sorry. As you can see, I have a slender build. So by nature, I can't really hold anything heavier than an umbrella. I'm the most ladylike lady that ever ladied, you know. Well, whatever. But it does make sense that using such great power has a trade-off somewhere. Just don't tell Saray about it. I don't want him to get all worried about me. Yeah, that's probably for the best. And just so we're clear, it doesn't mean that it's okay to touch me whenever I'm not using my powers, got it? Yeah, I know. <laughs> 